see. Alicia Devin Kelly.
they do a, like it was like a pop star that did a performance, and then that's what you saw, and then maybe you saw like an interview or something, and it was the best thing ever. Now everything is online, and every little detail is accounted for. So it's very, especially being the position I'm in now, it's a, it's hard to manage what you give out and don't give out, so that you're not misinterpreted, if you know what I mean. I'm getting, getting really serious with you all here. But I think it's also important because it, it is not to be taken for granted, uh, you know, someone's intentions or, you know what I mean? I, I, it's complicated, but yeah, role models, interesting, title now. It's yeah. not the same as it was. And I think people still have that original idea of what a role model is, and especially with girls young, like the females now, uh, female role models are taking a much bigger stand. You know, you have these awesome ladies on screen and TV uh, who are finally being represented in, in like a starring role, and that's fantastic for young girls. But then it's also like, where are the lines there, and, and what does that mean without changing technology and changing values and, and liberation and you know sexual orientation or whatever it is? It's very. Uh, multifaceted and so which is fantastic but it's also I mean I love that there's that joke on the internet where it's like trying to make a joke in 2017 is that little image of a kid trying to uh, get, make his way through uh, laser beams have you seen that? Where I was going with that so anyway that's my point of view. <laughs> okay. I have to find it now, uh, obviously. So, okay, guys, um, maybe you could already start lining up if you want to, because I know a lot of people want to ask you some questions. But remember what I said. Take it easy, guys. Like ten people at a time. So, please, you know, keep the. the I, I just saw someone pull it up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, okay. What do you think that? No, no, that's okay. 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 This is actually like a t-shirt. I got the okay for this, right? Uh -huh. And it is something that we're going to give away at some point here at Comic Con Dimension. It is a t-shirt that has the autographs of a lot of the people, the actors and the actresses and people like that. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Okay, let's see. Who do we have here? Um, I think we have Kevin Ingram, we have Emily Swallow, and Kristen Holtz and all that, all those guys, everyone, we have them, and we want your signature in the bottom as well. I can't. Totally. I'm not a fellow one. And you make it, make it bigger than all the others. Yes. Do it. That's it. That's it. That's fantastic. Okay, so you guys actually have a chance to win this T-shirt. Uh, what you need to do is like keep an eye out for the streaming studio on the corner, right down by the t-shirt booth, okay? And, um, and you can find out there. See, look at it, it's wonderful, okay? Yeah, that's, that's the thing you definitely want. Okay, so, the most important things, the questions, you guys, go ahead. G'day Alicia, um, so I'm Laurie from Australia. Um, my question is, what is your favorite and what is your, the funniest moment you had on set of The 100? <laughs> All right. So there was the scene where Eliza and I finally. Uh, <laughs> and the crew decided, as a joke, that it would be really funny because we couldn't hold back giggles the entire time. It was very funny to do. Um, and the first time we were having a go at it, we were we were really serious. We we're like, no, we just got to get it out. Just do it. It's fine. Like, stop laughing. And as soon as we walked onto the set, they started playing Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On. <laughs> we just started, like, I couldn't stop laughing. I was on the ground. I was like, no, don't. <laughs> it's too hard. It's just going to take all day. <laughs> so yeah, that was probably one of the, definitely a strong memory in my mind. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> 